Okay guys, so let's check out those common issue which you can face in if ng. First issue, let me show you. Let me go to node and let me go to windows and I have windows 7 mh and let me click save and let me start. Okay, so after a while it will become blue and it will start. Okay, start it and let's click on this and open a uh, VNC. And let me show you some common issue which student normally face. And normally they ping me on WhatsApp that I install properly each and everything. That's the issue which I want to show you. They say no bootable device. And normally students say that I use the same image which you use and I do this and that. <coughs> So now what is the issue? If you face such issue that no bootable device, so two common solution. Let me go to WinSCP to open this one. And this is 192, 192, 168, 114, 128. So 128, I already saved, so let me log in this one. And let me go to this window image. Two things, either your folder name is wrong, when 7, dash 7, and most probably your inside file is something else. And yes, there is 001. Why? If we go to uh, Eve ng name, naming let's go to kimiu image naming okay and let me go to windows so for window the folder name has to start from when and then dash so my folder name is start from when dash seven it's okay and insert file has to be two things either hda Either this virtue, I don't know, I call them virtue, V I R T I O A. It has to be this name. So let's go back and let's go to Windows 7. No, S001. So let me rename and let's remove this one. Okay, Q cow will be there. Q cow 2 is extension, it has to be there. You know, if you go up, the top Q curve will be there. They say that Kimu image with extension Q curve 2. But only Windows 7, the inside file has to be either HDA, either VIRTIOA. In my case, it was not that one. So I rename and make them the same. But now I need to apply permission so let me go to 192 168 100 sorry 114.128 and let me log in root and eve and because i already use this command so let me assign this one apply this command you have to keep this command ready and whenever you do changes in eve you need to apply this command and let's go back to and drag a new window now and windows windows 7 save and start okay let me stop this one the previous one i start a new one and this time i hope so it will work so if you have no bootable device it means you are inside folder name is wrong you see it started now no error related to no bootable so let me stop even let me show you properly if you are not sure so it will start there is no issue got it this is the first issue now let me show you another issue for that one i have another eve running with 114148 let me open that one 192, 
let me open that eve admin and password is eve second issue normally students say that whenever i try to node and then i go to my switches and let me take one switch this is switch basically i can let me change to switch by the way because this switch is showing a router uh, icon but you can change them yeah so let me save and this is the switch let me start this switch and let's see what gonna happen it will start and stop after a while let's see it started and let me start this asfr wall as well you see asfr wall started and then it stop suddenly look at now it will blue you know it's grayed out yeah after a while it will be blue and again it will stop let me start again let me show you even this switch has to do the same for some reason switch has an do it but normally switches do this one the student will normally they request me so the so switch is okay it can be any device not saying but normally oh let me start this asa it has to start and stop again let me start this one to show you any asa firewall any image it will start and stop you see it's not working start you see it's blue yeah it's blue yeah after a while it will become down again let's see now let's see it will take some time some devices take time and then it's suddenly and someone suddenly it will shut down let's see it has to shut down for some reason i think i need to drag a new one no it's not working yeah it has to shut down automatically after a while and let me drag anything any key me you image so i have asa and i have only asa only i don't have any other let's see if i have any other image okay maybe linux i have let me go to linux and no not this one i believe i thought maybe because it's a new eve ng i deliberately put that issue so that i can show you you know it's not starting some of them will start but it will not show you anything some of them will start and it will stop automatically start and stop even the switches but in my case the switch start for some reason even it will not start and uh, let me check the router A router will start i believe router will work but other key me you images when you try to start them it will start and it will shut down automatically this is the other one window one is came up the one which we run this one so this window is okay you saw this error this error is related to what so you already know that let me close this one and come back to the second issue so what is the issue the issue is if you face such issue that your device start and shut down automatically after a while either it started but it's not showing you the screen to show anything this common issue so what is the issue issue is related to when you go to your eve ng setting okay and when you go to processor so this virtualize intel has to be enabled when this is not enabled so none of the device will be start okay so how can i fix so let me stop this one power up this eve and what you need to do you need to click edit virtual machine setting okay and go to processor and enable this one and okay and start again so when you start again this time the devices will work and this case is what not working yeah so let's see now when it's properly boot up so that's the uh, second issue which you can face 
and let's see now it will take some time to come up okay so it's come up now and let me refresh this one let me refresh the page if it is not working you need to remove this one and enter it will come up okay and let's see now again refresh sometime you can face this issue it will come up now it's come up and now let's see before it was not working yeah let me start this time it has to work you see now it started and it will work yeah okay this one is started and stop again but in this case maybe we drag them before that's why when it was not working but this time this one if you see it has to work and it will show you you see now it's boot up it's showing everything even this one has to work but because i drag them before the error and i put another error as well so maybe this one is not starting that's why otherwise it has to start and it has to work and let me show you this one as well so this one will also work okay ah, sorry you need to refresh and also normally what you need to do you need to go to putty the same thing 192 168 114 148 and root eve and apply fix permission command so let me apply fix permission eve ng and let me copy this one and let's go to paste and enter okay and now refresh this one okay and now let's check out and also this has to work this one is okay because before it was not showing anything now it can show you it's booting and it has to work yeah it's come up okay so let me close this one and now let's come to this one why it's not showing or not working so let me start okay and now let's take a look okay so let's stop again why because we drag them this one before because i create a new error you know i am deliberately creating those error to show you so i create another error so this one i drag that time but if you drag another one it has to work straight away so this is asa you know and save uh, where is come let me delete this one let's delete this one let's delete this one let's delete this one and now let's drag a new one ASA okay and save and now let's try and now it's working and it's perfectly okay so this is second issue now it's working and it will start after two three seconds yeah here is and it's booting up okay so now you know this error second error third error normally students say that i want to reset all my thing they say because i'm using different things and i want to reset maybe they change the host name and everything and they want a reset each and everything again only the ips and dns and those detail so for that purpose what you can do go to root eve and here you can type this command you can easily get from internet and eve website if you want to reset eve management ip settings such as dns ntp root password so that's the easy way so first you need to do this one control c and come here edit and paste 
okay and second thing what you need to do is you means change user and paste this one change user and enter now when you enter it will ask you look at now so I put the password Eve again password Eve again and I want the host name Eve ng and I want DNS this one I want direct DHCP connectivity NTP do direct connection and done so in case if you want to reset your DNS and IP and etc for some reason so you can use this procedure now when this boot up the fourth error which you can face normally students say that I get IP and Eve and is showing the IP here like in my case they say the IP is showing here but when I try in the browser it's not working so where I'm connected first you need to find out how I'm connected I, 114 subnet so 114 subnet is my net adapter you need to check is connected here and DHCP is enabled here first you need to check here so yes host name is connected and DHCP is enabled this is the same range let me show you here in this one so I can see the IP next you need to go to open network and setting go to change adopter option and where is th th this one VM network adapter if I click here so this is the IP 114 through DHCP I am getting that IP what you need to do you need to click on properties in your case go to IP4 in your case it will be static here remove that one and say obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server IP automatically first do this one so when you do this one and when you ok and when you come to detail if you get a PIPA in my case I didn't get a PIPA it means my adapter is ok I am getting IP from DHCP I told you the DHCP and e is configured there but if you cannot open in browser so first thing first you need to come here and make them automatic if you get the IP properly then it's ok then there is another issue I will show you that one but if you get a PIPA PIPA 169 so what you need to do this every second user face this issue keep in mind right click here disable this interface ok because I disable I disconnected and enable this interface again next time you will not get a PIPA you will get the proper IP automatically the first IP always you will get the first IP and then when you try in the browser it will work this is the most face issue by user I don't know for some reason in some student system this network adapter not getting IP automatically when you go to property and when you click here it will be static make them automatic first if you get your IP automatically then it's okay if you not then enable disable every time when you restart your system you need to enable disable your interface then you will get this graphical user interface without any issue so these are the three common issue which you can face later on in later video I will show you some more issue which you can face and uh, EVE NG